you're going to make for your science project? Yep, you know what you're going to make? Sure. What? I can't tell you. You're liable to make one, too. No, I won't. You sure? Honest. Okay, I'm going to make a water wheel. Boy, that's me. I think I'll make one, too. You said you wouldn't. I didn't swear. You said honest. That's not like swearing. Okay for you, Royal Jay Wagonorn. See if I ever tell you anything. Well, I'd make something else if I knew what. I thought you said you knew what you're gonna make. Yeah, but I wasn't sure. Why don't you make one of those things that sucks water from down low to higher up? You think that's a good one? Sure, it's probably better than a water wheel. You want a swap? No, that's all right. You can have it. Okay, thanks, Corey. See you later. Hey, Mr. Edison, here. Drink it. That glass will self-destruct in 30 seconds. It really won't, will it, Mom? How should I know? You're the scientist. You're only fooling. I'm only fooling. Where's Corey? In his apartment, I guess. Probing the innermost secrets of science? Huh? Never mind. Just drink that milk before you spill it. I'm going down to the laundry, Corey. Okay. Why don't you come with me and do all that in the basement? I can help you. No, I'm going to do it myself. I got all A's on my science projects in school. Just the same. Okay. What's it gonna be? A water wheel. You sure you don't want any help? I told you, Roberta, I'm going to do it myself. Well, try and keep from messing things up any more than necessary, okay? I cleaned the room once today. I'll be downstairs if you need me. I don't need you. You sure can't make a girl feel wanted. Hi, Frecklehead. Oh, Dad. What's going on, son? It's my science project. I'm making one of those things that sucks water from lower to higher. A siphon? I guess so. Oh, you're home, Lenny. Yep, I figured it's the safest place to be with all the crime going around. Oh. Get your own project. Huh? He's doing all right by himself. Oh, uh, I, uh, I won't interfere. Uh-huh. Uh, you sure you're doing that right? Mm-hmm. Look, let me just straighten that out for you. I can do it, Dad. I know you can do it. Anybody can make a plain old siphon. But why don't we use the principle and make one that's really something? I've got an idea that you can knock them dead with. <laughs> Dad, when are you going to let me work on it? As soon as I get this, this part has to be just right. Can you lend me some nails? I suppose so. Hi, Mr. Wagonorn. Hi, Corey. Corey wants some nails. Sure. Are you working on a science project, too? Yes, sir. Maybe I can give you a hand after I finish with Earl. Thanks, Mr. Wackadorn, but I wouldn't want to bother you. No bother at all. Glad to do it. Is he making yours for you? No, he just wants to help. Do you have to let him? He's my father. What can I do? Boy, are you sure lucky you don't have anyone to help you? 
Yeah, but I better hurry up before your father finishes. Well, good evening. Oh, hi. Hi there. Well, don't I get a kiss? I'm busy, Mom. Oh, so I see. Where were you when the earthquake happened? What earthquake? Now, don't tell me this wasn't caused by an earthquake. At least a hurricane. This is my science project. For school? Oh. Well, it's amazing how much it looks like an earthquake. Try to guess what it is. Okay. Let me see. Is it um, smaller than a bread box? Bigger. Bigger than a bread box. Um, is it something I can eat? No. It's wet. Wet? Wet. Like water. Water! Right. You're inventing water? No. That's only the first word. No help, Roberta. Sorry. Now, let me think. Um, water, 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 something, huh? Water. Water. Like on my bicycle. Water handlebars. No. What has spokes? Water wheels. Right, how'd you get it? Oh, it's just a lucky guess, I guess. Roger Wyvern's making a project, too. He is? But his dad's helping him on it. Oh. Roger Wyvern says he always does. Poor Corey. Now I know why he refused my offer to help. Oh, Roberta, you're not a father. And neither am I. But there are times when I feel I have to try and pinch hit. Excuse me, Roberta. Honey, let me help you with your water wheel. That's all right, Mom. You don't have to. I know I don't, but I'd like to. Honest, Mom, it's all right. I can do it myself. I mean it, Corey. I really want to. But, Mom... Oh, sweetheart. Don't worry. I'll bet I can be as much help as Mr. Wagadorn. Oh, Corey, get that for me, please. Hey, Corey, how you doing? Fine. Hi, Steve. <laughs> Didn't Roberta show up for work today? Oh, this happens to be Corey's science project. Well, uh, what would it have been if it lived? A water wheel. You don't have to be so superior. <laughs> Is it that bad? I think you can be arrested for what you did to it. That's what happens when you let women get their hands on tools. I told her I could do it myself. You should have let him. Um, Corey, uh, will you get a glass of water for Steve, please? Uh, don't bother, Corey. I'm not thirsty. You must be thirsty. It's very hot out. It's very hot out. I must be thirsty. Will you get me a glass of water, please? Lenny is helping Earl with his project, and Corey was feeling a little down because he didn't have anyone to help him. So I volunteered. It really is pretty bad, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't suggest you do this for a living. But if Lenny can help Earl, I can give Corey a hand. I really needed that. Well, you can start taking that apart, and I'll get to work. You don't have to. Oh, honey, Steve is just trying to help. But I can do it myself. Sure you can, but Earl's dad is helping him, isn't he? Did he tell you that? No, I did. Steve thinks it's not fair. It's not. 
Don't you worry, little brother. Old Steve's a water-wheeling whiz, and I like this kind of work. And you want this project to be a success, don't you? I guess so. Of course you do. And Steve wants you to get a good grade. Come over here, sit with me. Let's watch him work. Oh, we're gonna have fun, you'll see. <sighs> Okay. By the time you get back, we'll have this water wheel of yours all finished. You know something? What's that? You are a nice man. <laughs> Flattery will get you almost anywhere. <laughs> no, Steve, I mean it. This was one of those times when being a mother just wasn't enough. Are you sure you're not making it a lot bigger than it was? I don't think so. Every once in a while, Lenny and Earl will do something that's, uh, well, father and son, and Corey will feel left out, like this science thing. When he told me that Lenny was helping Earl, he tried so hard to make it sound unimportant. Well, maybe it was unimportant. Mmm, he was too casual. Well, he tried too hard to convince me that he wanted to do this project himself. Well... Maybe you're right. Lenny, we've finished dinner. Are you going to eat or not? In a minute, honey. Now, or I throw it out. I'll work in it while you're eating, Dad. <clears throat> no, you better not touch it, Earl. You might spoil it. Uh, I'll be right back. What you doing? Nothing. Me too. Why aren't you working on your project? My dad won't let me touch it. Yeah, my mom and Steve are working on mine. What are you going to do? I'm going to go down in the basement and build another project, but I'm not going to tell them about it. Boy, that's a good idea. I'll go with you. <laughs> Are you still fooling with that thing? Mm-hmm. Well, knock it off and talk to me for a while. Sure. I mean, pretend our marriage is a bit more sacred than homemade tanker toys. Let's come here, look, Kate. Mm-hmm. What kind of a day did you have today? Yes, dear. Bet you can't wait to hear what kind of a day I had today. Mm-hmm. I sold the kids. That's nice. I was afraid you'd think so. Been with you in a minute, honey. I may not be here. <laughs> I'm running away from home. Fine. Where did all the magic go? Hey, Marie! I forgive you! <laughs> For what? Never mind. Well, what do you think of it? Well, if it's modern sculpture, I don't like it. And if it's not modern sculpture, I still don't like it. What this is, madam, is it works on the principle of the siphon. You pour this colored water into this funnel. It runs down into this tin container. Then the water shoots out through these holes in the can and down those three separate alleys. See? Here, the alleys all run together and into that big dish. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa. Here, I pump the air out of this jar and create a force strong enough to suck the water up and out of the dish and into the jar. Huh? That's what you spend all evening doing instead of talking to me? You want me to help Earl, don't you? I want you to help him. That'll get him kicked out of school. Is that so? You want to bet this gets him an A? Only if his teacher's from Mars. You'll see. Where's Earl? Probably with Corey. I'll get him because I can't wait to see his face when he gets a look at this. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, Julia. Hi, Lenny. Come in. Hey. Hi, Steve. How are you, Lenny? Fine. Hey, you make that for Corey? Yep. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Nice job, Steve. Real nice. Thanks. I uh, just finished Earl's project, the siphon. Oh. Turned out real good. <laughs> Is Corey down in your apartment? No, I thought Earl was here with Corey. No, we haven't seen Corey in hours. Great. We knock ourselves out working on their projects and they're running around having fun. Well, we'd better find them because it's getting late. Tomorrow's a school day. I'll check around the building. Well, wait a minute. I'll go with you. I'd come too, but I need this. <laughs> tell our folks about it, it will just hurt their feelings. And besides, they'll want to take it away from us and work on it themselves. <laughs> we weren't too bright. I think the word is stupid. Mm. Well, I, I don't know. We didn't do anything that bad. After all, we were only trying to help. That's the point. We were so busy trying to help, we forgot to ask ourselves if they needed it or even wanted it. We just smugly assumed that without us, they were helpless. So we simply took over and managed to take all the fun out of something they really wanted to do themselves. Mm. Mm. It's easy to forget they're growing up. Oh, mm. yes, but they are, and we shouldn't forget it. They have to do what they want to do in their own way. We should only be there if they need us. Mm. Mm. Look, no real harm was done. By the time Corey gets here, he's going to find that his water wheel doesn't work. Neither will the siphon. Whatever we do, I have a feeling we're not going to outsmart them. Outsmart them? What worries me is that it's the other way around. What do you mean? Counting what my tools cost me to begin with and the hours I put in on overtime, I figure the siphon cost about 50 bucks. So? So, in no time at all, with 20 cents worth of junk, those kids made their point as well, if not better than we did. Doesn't that scare you? No, it doesn't scare me, but it does make me feel a little ridiculous. Uh. Mm -hmm. uh, how about you? Well, don't look at me. Oh, I didn't build anything. You know what really scares me? If I play my cards right, I'll have her and Corey to worry about. way past your supper time. Now, let's get a move on. In a minute, Mom. In a minute, I will be angry. Now, move it. All right. What are you two building? An auto. Earl J. Wagoner and me are going to enter the soapbox derby. Earl J. Wagoner and I are going to enter the soapbox derby? I thought it was going to be you and me. So did I. Never mind. Hey, Earl, it's chow turn. Hi, Julia. Hi, Lenny. What do you say, Earl? Let's... Wow! What a beauty! But you know what we ought to do? Lenny. Hmm? No. No what? No anything. Remember the siphon? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think we ought to go up and eat. <laughs> 